Welcome to Google Forms, where we're going to talk about a subsection of Google Docs called Google Forms. And if you haven't already created a Google account and gotten into Google Docs, um, you might want to watch the Google Docs videos first before you tackle Google Forms. Because, uh, like I said, you have to be able to get into Google um, and get into Docs to create forms. All right, so Google Forms, let's get started. Uh, they're real e quick and easy to get started with, and all you got to do is click on this Create New. Go to Form. And Google Forms are really quick and easy ways to collect information, whether you're collecting data from students, uh, you're surveying students, whether you're surveying the rest of your staff, surveying parents. It's a really cool way to collect information. And what you're going to do first of all is give it a good title. That will be the name of the spreadsheet file when it's done as well. If you need to give any description as to how to, serve it, how to take the survey or any other further directions, you can put them under here. And it starts you off with two sample questions. I usually use these to have my survey takers put in their name if it's not anonymous. And one tip I will say is make sure that you put a separation between the last name and the first name. Um, the reason for that is so that whenever you're doing your spreadsheet, if you want to sort things alphabetically, it's a lot easier to do it if you've got their last names. You've also, for every question, you've got a little checkbox here that says make it a required question. Usually I make the name required. The next one, I want to show you these three buttons over here. You're going to edit the question here. You can duplicate questions or you can throw them away. I'm going to edit it and just put first name here. Make it required and it's done. All right, now that is just one type of question. Um, also, you can take your questions and you can move them by dragging if I want to get them in a different order. I want to show you real quickly the question types. You've got text, which we just did. Paragraph text is a longer block of uh, text that they can have in a longer answer. Pretty self-explanatory, multiple choice. You can enter their answers here. A, B, C, D. You can do a checkbox, which is the same idea, except they can check all the answers that apply. You can do a choose from a list which um, gives them a list and gives them a little drop down area. I'll show you this real quick. You can do a scale, which is where they can order something from 1 to 5, 1 to 10. Change your scale here. And you can give labels for the each part of the scale. So you might do something like asking if you find something important to you or not. I can say not important at all would be a one, five would be very important. And so you get an idea of what these look like. So here's multiple choice, here's a checkbox one with only one checkbox, here's a choose from a list, here's a scale. The other type of question is called a grid question. I'm not going to get into this one uh, right now, I'll do that in Beyond the Basics, but if you're interested in that one, head to Beyond the Basics. The last thing I want to show you in this getting started video is how to find the live form straight from here. Um, you can save your form here that will save all the progress you've made. And if you look at the bottom, you've got a link. When I click on that link, it'll show you what the actual form will look like when people go to take it over the internet. They take the form and they hit the submit button. All right, so we've gotten started. We've kind of created a form here showed you some of the question types and in the next video in the basics we're going to talk about uh, a little bit more about those question types how to add those questions a little bit more and I want to show you what the spreadsheet looks like once you start gathering some responses mm -hmm.